You know, I'm with Koo, too, because uh, when I saw this guy, I'm like, dude, this guy is uh, Armin's third cousin. He, They're definitely in cahoots. It's because he's so. <laughs> Oh my dude, god. Oh, oh, my bro. You got me thinking you. that. I was like, oh, oh a blonde. <laughs> he's, he's all about the blonde theories, bro. <laughs> I'm blonde. telling you, man. All these blonde people, they all live together in just one giant sleep sack. <laughs> <laughs> This is episode four of Sasage Yo Sundays. We're currently discussing the fourth episode of Tag and Titan final season. And I guess before we start, I just want to introduce Killjoy here. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, so it'll be fun having uh, another person joining in our conversation. Um, so I guess for today's episode, um, I guess I'll say nothing much really happened, I guess, besides the ending. Um, it's just setting up whatever like Aaron and the other remember other paradise members are trying to do. So um I guess before we get to the discussion, I guess I have a couple of questions that I just need to clarify just so I understand the the episode correctly. So first one is um old man Jaeger. I'm assuming that's supposed to be like Aaron's grandfather, right? Like he's talking about he's talking about um like when when Aaron's dad and like his little sister went out to outside the wall earlier, right? That was what he's referencing to. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So I'm making sure that, and also, um, so the t- Tyber family, so they they're the descendants of the heroes who killed the like, uh, the original Titans, right? I don't think they're the descendant of Helios or whatever the statue of the guy's name was, but they were like descendants who basically banded together with Marley to okay. fight against the aliens and the Titans. And okay. so that's why the Tibers have like such high regard in Marley. Okay, but are the Tiber friends are they Eldians too? Is that why they can transform into Titans? Mm-hmm. Okay, so someone explain like what why is uh Elian family so highly regarded even though like they're supposed to be like like why why do they have so much power even though like Eldians are supposed to be discriminated against in in Marley? <laughs> This was, I was just telling Koo before this podcast started that this was always the, like, one thing about Attack on Titan. This whole section, this entire episode right here is always what confused me. Like, I, I could never really feel like I could put okay. my finger on why it was confusing or what about it bothered me. And I brought it up to my other friends who have read the manga, too, and they didn't really remember either. Like, the answer to your question, I'm not really 100% sure. Okay. It's like, Mm-hmm. No, I, I think it's i was definitely the same you know way back when first reading these chapters as well so um i think in terms of like its credibility it definitely isn't like the strongest kind of plot factor of you know exactly as you said david like why they're kind of willing to forgive you know the tibers even though they are like the same eldians that they're persecuting i think it's more so just the fact that when marley was having the conflict with the eldians they kind of like stepped in and, and helped them get either like inside information or basically anything that could help them topple the titans are the main eldians so okay. kind then, of like i'll scratch your back you scratch my back and we'll be we'll be chill okay that's like that was like what i was confused about yeah just because especially the fact that like the whole reveal of this episode was, or not reveal but like a big part was how uh like yeah the tyro family supposedly control marley from the shadows so like yeah just the fact that knowing that they were eldian just really threw me off so that was like my big thing for this I, episode. I believe that in like Marley, like in the physical location of Marley, I do think too that the Tiber family has the most knowledge about like what actually happened between Eldians and all others historically. Like I feel like their family history has a has a better record. And if he didn't touch on that slightly in this episode, I think you, there might be a little bit of that in the next episode, but I don't really know that that's meaningful. It's kind of like what Killjoy was saying. Like, I just don't know that there's that much that's that's necessary here to like deep dive into. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think next week's or not next week's, but two weeks from now, yeah. we'll definitely give a lot more insight into the history of that major war and kind of everybody's involvement in it from Willie. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Willie. The Audacity old of Willie, show. man. Yes, yes. Our favorite <laughs> have a lead character just name himself Willie. Yes, our favorite Willy Wonka. <laughs> yes. So uh there wasn't really much I guess going on this episode, so we can just skip right to the end to the reveal yeah. that <laughs> Where I mean, that, you know, whoa, 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 whoa! Why, why do you well, think uh, that's the case? I'm sure there's lots that's of things str- going on this episode, right? There's if a you, strong want, assumption, David. Uh, you want to talk about? Go I ahead. mean, I feel guess, free. Feel free to interrupt. I guess like, we can... let's talk about how sad. Let's talk about how sad Falco is going to be when he realizes who he is delivering all of these letters for. He's like so happy yeah. and well, excited I mean, to be I like mean, that's, that's... doing something good for people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's the ending part too. It's a part that... Part of the ending part. That's so, true. If there's anything, but technically, I, I, it was also in the very beginning. Okay. <laughs> I was more so going to say, do you guys have any theories in terms of when Magath and Willie are having the conversation on the balcony, and you know, Magath's asking Willie, like, "Is you know the Warhammer Titan really here?" And Willie's like, oh, "Yeah, okay, I it's did, here." I did. Do you have that. any theories of who you think okay, is the Warhammer that. Titan? Okay, we can do that first. Um, I have some reason. Dude, it's I, that old man who looked the cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a very diverse set of people that they show, you know, in the in the room when you I, first see the I, the Tiber I, family. I feel like it's always the kid, like one, one of the kids. Like I feel like whenever they they say like this person possesses hidden powers, it's always like a kid. So I'm gonna guess like it's one of the kids who has it. I don't have any good reason, but it's just how like it's how I'm feeling. My my gut tells me. It's it's Willie, and he had to acquire it recently. Like he just acquired it, which is why he came up here. And he's gonna have this like theater show. He's going off, bro. I think he's gonna mutate Ooh. into his That's... Warhammer, Jackhammer. What's it called? Warhammer. Warhammer Titan. So I, I think someone else had it, and then because of some things that happened, I I don't know what he was like, bro. I gotta take action in my own hands because all these other people are idiots, and that's why he's going behind the scenes to talk to Macbeth or whatever his name is, and uh, tell him, hey boy, <laughs> hey boy, let's team up. And he, Macbeth is smart <laughs> enough to know that, like, yeah, Marley's pretty much a failed state, so uh, I'll work with you, and we'll kind of run the show from here. Even though I'm not really running the show because you know you you just made this deal to me. I actually hope that happens because that sounds um, really. Exciting exciting if he's gonna do the big reveal mm-hmm. on stage definitely yeah that does sound very exciting cool you have yet to weigh in uh well i think he's kind of in with like Aaron and the others from paragus I, that's what i feel like because if you think about it that like for me i feel like the timing is just too perfect right like why would he have this giant uh like giant reveal to happen at the festival. And then it looks like this is when Aaron and the others are planning to do their attack as well. So maybe he's in uh, coots with the others from Paragus. That's, that's what my thinking was, but you know, uh, I'm with Koo too. Cause uh, when I saw this guy, I'm like, dude, this guy is uh, Armin's third cousin. He, they're definitely in cahoots. It's because he's so. <laughs> Oh my Dude, god. Yeah, no, oh, you gotta be I'm thinking you, that. I was like, oh, oh a blonde. <laughs> he's, he's all about the blonde theories, bro. <laughs> I'm blonde. telling you, man. All these blonde people, they all live together in just one giant sleep sack. <laughs> <laughs> no, and for like a split second, I thought that uh maybe Armin was was actually the, the guy imposing as a tipper, uh like um head of household. But mm. I mean obviously that's not the case, but I mean, just when I saw the blonde hair, I was like, yep, this is definitely Armin four years later. But uh, I don't know. Sasha's got to be fucked up, bro. I don't know what to think. He's <laughs> in your mind. I got you, man. Yeah, he yeah, he is. <laughs> so a lot that happened in this episode that I feel is very relevant to what's going to happen in the future. It's just I, I got to give it to Ku and, and to David for their thirst for the main characters. This episode, I just felt it. Even though we got to see old man Aaron Keanu Reeves style with his sausage leg walking around. Well, not really walking around, limping around, I should say. Um, I I just felt devoid at this point. I don't like Gabby. I think she needs to get a spear through the throat. Falco is... is, Well, I'm just saying, bro. Like, dude, just come on. Like, I love those security guards. I thought that was a pretty good moment. I will say, I thought the music was phenomenal. Like, you had the violin um, and kind of like the cello in that scene and the upright bass it sounded like and then in the scene when he's talking to his grandpa it sounded like like a nine inch nail sound track in the background i was like "Ooh, this this music makes you want to just like oh makes the hair in your neck stand up so i did appreciate that touch but i think i'm i'm now craving it like i'm over these 
just rando like obviously they're not randos but i'm just over them i don't really care about falco and his stupid ma- mail service reminds me of that ghibli movie to- what is it poco uh, sur- wait which there one no kiki's delivery service yeah <laughs> man get like, out of here like stupid. you don't need to bring that into this <laughs> look hey, if i want to watch one, bro, you yeah. kind of pissed some people off <laughs> <laughs> bro we just so if i want to watch <laughs> I go to UPS if I want to watch somebody deliver yeah. packages the whole episode, yeah. you know. So, so someone has a uh, uh, letter B. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I'm I'm tired of it. I'm done. Like I, I've had it. Like uh, the, these characters, and then you got Willy Wonka, the audacity of the show to introduce a character named Willy, and I expect me to take it seriously. <laughs> yeah. He's all like, he's like, yeah, I'm that's, I'm a Willy. <laughs> if all of the names that come on this, like Willy is the one that just gets you. <laughs> Frustrated. Okay, if this was Golden Kamui, I, I'd be like, dude, okay, this is right up their alley. But this is Attack on Titan. I'm like, bro, what is this nonsense? What is this Get Willy this bullshit? <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I, I thought the ending definitely saved it. Because before that, I was going to be like, okay. You know, and now that I find out we have a two-week wait, I'm like, uh. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm just I'm just tired of Falco and Soul Crew and Hanji Jr. Male version of Hanji, just a terrible character. Like I, I was telling somebody in this crew earlier, when he spilled the wine drink on the lady, I was just hoping she'd be like, "Boy, get your ass!" Away. <laughs> just like snap his neck <laughs> and like, "GG." That's what happens Not when LD and spill things. <laughs> no. No, no. Yeah. She's Japanese. She's too polite to do that. Okay, okay. She could have just pulled out her uh, katana and just stabbed <laughs> through the kidney. That's that too. <laughs> so oh, is it? Right, go ahead yeah Sasha. no 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 i mean really that's the end of my rant it's just i'm i'm exhausted from these characters and they're like mindless running around i get it and the willie's cool and all that dude just just give me aaron just need to go beast mode with reiner and just fight each you other please attack yeah okay, go ahead oh i see what you did there dude <laughs> oh touche but Take uh them. i was gonna say like i i understand sasha and i think you know ku and, and david you guys have said on previous you know uh podcasts for attack on titan you know we really want to see the main group again the main crew from parodies and get them back into action but i was more so curious from you guys' perspective on this episode of what did you think about the interaction between peak the cart titan and porco when he finds her walking on all fours like when he comes <laughs> up the stairwell did that have any like effect for you or no i thought it was just really random Good. like i did not think any okay. significance of that scene and now you now you made me question it. <laughs> it it's not like much of significance i guess to give background to it uh the reason she does that is because she's so used to being in the cart titan form where she's walking yeah. on all fours that's why you know she's walking on all fours and when she's standing on two legs she uses her crutch to get around but the reason that i bring that up is um in the manga, it's actually portrayed in a little bit of a different format. Like the scene plays out the same, but the ordering is a little bit different. So, uh, manga readers from last week thought that Mappa just decided to cut that scene entirely, and that caused like a huge shitstorm oh, on like a lot okay. of Reddit because the manga fans ship peak really hard. So the fact that they put that in this episode, like I was reading the threads okay. earlier today, like they were just all up in arms and like cheering for Mappa to like include that. So. One wow. of those things that doesn't have much kind of credence to the show, but no, I, just something that's I like get what a little you're bit... talking about. The manga yeah. community likes Peak that much. They definitely ship her hard, yeah. From what huh. I've seen. Wow. I didn't Probably realize that they the were that team. hardcore into Peak. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would say the Attack on Titan fandom definitely is is an odd one. With like how popular it is, there's like some very unique takes and like loves that people have that i found just like sifting through different threads throughout the years i have seen mm-hmm. a lot of best girl things for her so i guess i shouldn't mm-hmm. be that surprised i've only heard the levi and Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> totally uh, r.i.p yeah. that matchup yeah I'm, I'm with david i didn't think much of it um really i, I don't like that guy which one's the girl which was the guy i don't even know peak and peck the girl <laughs> so, like, i don't remember the guy's name so yeah, Porco. Just he's Mar- Porco. Marcel's brother. He has the jaw. The jaw okay. Yeah, he's, he, he got he got shafted on the name front. You know, you got Marcel, okay. normal like Italian s name, and then you got Porco. That's <laughs> like, like the worst. Name that's ever. Piece of Japanese pork. Game. It's it's bad. That's, that's the honorable worst. Japanese games, guys. Back off, dude. Holy shit. The worst name. Yo, ever. man, this author. This author had it going, and he's just like, oh man, what am I eating for dinner tonight? Oh, tonkatsu. Yeah, oh, oh Porco. That'll be my. Yeah, perfect. I can forgive Willie, but Porco. 
Dude, okay. the names have been terrible. I think that's another thing. Gabby, Falco. Like, Falco, isn't that an 80s band that made Rock Me Amadeus? Anyways. Oh, Falco's a Nintendo character. I, yeah, the scene. Fox. There we go. That's there we go. Book. Yeah. Um, no, I, but... I totally understand too with not having you know much care for like the new ensemble of Marley cast that they've introduced, and I think it's something that I think even Taylor, you know, you had said on, on previous um, episodes where you know as a manga reader back when these were first coming out, you had you know a month between each chapter, <laughs> so there is so much time to like think about things, look into things. So you get a little bit more familiarizing kind of endearment for all these characters versus you know now in, in the anime format when you're getting it every week, it's just like. All right, cool. It, lore dump here, lore dump there. Either I mean, I'll go back if I'm really interested in it, but I want to know, you know, kind of the bread and butter from the first three seasons. I don't know if I would really kind of that way, attracted cause, to. Because I was, I was reading like the season two stuff, and when it got to the, the Historia arc, like I got really bored, and that's when I dropped the manga. So mm. like that, and like having to wait a month for all that, like really dragged it out for me. So it wasn't until season two of the anime aired that I finally caught, like I just watched the anime, and finally got excited mm. for Tag and Titan mm -hmm. again. So, I feel that. Yeah, I think um, for like the 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 Marley stuff, like I appreciate the first three episodes, but like I'm definitely with Sasha. Like I'm, I think I'm just like my patience is like is over. Like I just I need something to happen. Like, mm -hmm. well, I'm really style. really still surprised. I'm like I, I was mentioning to Koo before this started that I, I'm a little surprised they dedicated one whole episode to just what they did here. Because it kind of feels like elements of it could have been pulled into the last episode. And a couple things could have been brought into the beginning of what's going to be the next episode. So I I'm surprised they made made a whole episode out of this. Especially if we're only getting 16 episodes this season. Yeah. But it, it might have been too that like... I mean, because you guys were talking about how it seems like there might be a lot of stuff that's setting up here that's important for the future. And there is some stuff, but I... This is the first time where I've thought, okay, do we need to spend this much time on this thing or that thing? And can we move this along just, just a touch? Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've thought that this season. I mean, I'll say, I feel like Willie seems extremely integral to the entire story, like history and future of it, which is why I think they spent so much time with him. And the other thing is, they did show his character through his um, associations, right? When that drunk guy was giving a speech and he's like, oh, yesterday's enemies are today's enemies. <laughs> yeah, build that wall. And then he's like, okay, all right, let me take over. Um, and then everyone's like, yeah, it's Willie. And they show the Ottoman Turks and then they showed, you know, wherever those other people were from, I have no idea. Um, mm -hmm. But everyone was in unison. So you could see like, he's the one bringing it together and pulling the strings. So his political influence is obviously very, very high. And then... Macbeth working behind the scenes. Um, it shows that these two are probably the most intelligent members, which they might come to butting heads later on. I, I don't know, but that's what I felt they were going for. It's just at this point, bro, you're giving me a random scene with Pigeon, aka Porco, and then Peak walking around. Her future job is to be a Walmart cart. Let's be honest. She's going to carry people's groceries back <laughs> to their cars. <laughs> so, yep, that's a. Uh, that's all I gotta say yeah, about I, that. Yeah, I guess like, uh, I guess I should say like, I totally understand why th th it's it's important for the Tiber family to be and Willie to be introduced in this episode. It's just like it, it's just like the the pacing and the way it was introduced after four episodes of Marley so far. I just felt like it just could have been done better. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I I think that's a fair assessment, and I think it's something where I'm kind of torn because. Like, I really enjoy that MAPPA is sticking so close to the source material. But I agree as well, and kind of like to Taylor's point, when we only have, you know, 16 episodes and we're trying to, you know, really get to not the climax per se, but more so kind of like the main focus, it, it definitely is dragging its heels in places. So I think there's definitely stuff that could have been uh, cut. Still... But even right now, going back to the manga, like, it's pretty, like scene for scene of like yeah. what they showed no, I like always... i don't see much cut in these last two chapters that they just covered in this episode yeah i always yeah. appreciate when it sticks to the like, source material because i don't i don't i don't like having to criticize something and just just having it be off by adaptation like it'd be nice to have like because you want i don't know i just want i want anime to be like you know the you know the nice like like moving picture version of like what I was trying to adapt, so I always like it when they try to stick as close as possible. Because then, because then it, just, it frustrates me when there's too much stuff being left left out. And, yeah. 
Oh God of High School. Yeah. <clears throat> oh gosh. <laughs> yes, that too. Question, yeah, question yeah, like, like that guy. Uh, oh, go ahead, Jen. Um, is there any kind of like negative? Like, any, is there has there been any negativity that you guys have noticed like on either Reddit or any Not, kind of other message I can't boards? read Reddit. Cause, like, I just think people. I can't do... like. I, don't, I can't read anything online because like there's always a chance of spoilers. So there's a lot yeah. of spoilers. Okay. Like, I've everywhere. seen a lot of people complaining about um, that it's not sticking close enough to the manga. But then I've also seen a lot of manga readers like hitting back and saying, "Calm down, you can't possibly have every single panel in it." Yeah. And like the 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 feeling and important important points and facts that you need to take away from each different situation have definitely been portrayed. Because I, I I flipped back through the manga a little bit too, and I feel like everything's been very, like what little might not be in there, you don't need. Like if you want more, you can read the manga, but like you're getting really all the same feelings from it that you would if you read it. Agreed. Yep. Disagreed. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. But that's the, as, that's as been it... the only I think contention I've seen on Reddit at least. <laughs> Yeah, I think otherwise, just from the previous episodes, like still just like the minority of people who really can't get over the CGI, which I think oh, yeah. isn't a big deal at all, honestly, at the end of the day. And yeah. then um, I think the other frustration is that I've noticed, at least, is just from a moderation standpoint, I think they're finding that like a lot of manga readers are trying to like portray themselves as anime onlys and kind of put <laughs> breadcrumbs in these threads of that like, happens oh, so much I think Reddit. this might... Yeah, and that's I just Reddit that in general, so right? Much. You're never going to enforce it, but that was especially something with, like, uh, Aaron, you know, when we didn't know that, you know, this this guy was Aaron and such, and just, like, kind of these theories and rumor mills where it's it's too good of a theory to be, you know, something that somebody could, could kind of come to on it, what it was shown only also, in the anime. That's, also why that's so lame. So like, who has friends. the time to, like, act like you've never read it and then just like right. go and go on to all these different threads yeah. leave trails to like it's a what? unique sense of satisfaction for sure. <laughs> seriously who would do that yeah <laughs> they're just basically it's reddit is just karma farming at its finest it's yeah. kind of sickening at that, the end of the day that's, but that's why like i had to stop uh yeah green red threads too because like that happens to me in so many shows where like i i just want like people's genuine reactions and then, like, and then of course, there's the manga readers that, that does the breadcrumb things, and then, and then, like later on, when I when that thing happens, I'm like, oh my fucking god, you guys, you totally read the manga. That's you could have never figured this out mm-hmm. in the first place. Like, so that's oh, also it's like why, those yeah. YouTube reaction videos where yeah, they're like, just cool. listen to my first system of a down song. You're like, no, you did. You heard this eighteen thousand <laughs> times in your life. Like, come on, guys. Yeah, I hate those. exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, so I, I still love Attack on Titan. I still think Pound for Pound, one of the best animes ever created, but I am slowly losing my patience with just, I, you know, like I said, I, I know in my soul that this had a lot of things set up for this next episode, but good golly. I, I sometimes, looking back at it, I wish parts of the episode were left out. Like, I don't need to see those people, uh, Gabby and her scrub friends, uh, enjoying the festival. People. <laughs> yep. That was, a, um, that was one of the things I mentioned. Get, yeah, it seems like it sounds yeah. it's also filler seeing that festival. Dude, okay. One, seeing them enjoy life, who cares about them? Two, getting <laughs> extra pastries and bread <laughs> from that old lady. Get that out of here. Get that nonsense out of here. Um, like it just I think it would have been more impactful if we actually got to, not, once they revealed that Aaron was that guy, we see a little bit of him. Um, a little bit more than him just like, you know, talking to his crazy grandpa because his grandpa, that guy's gone. He reminds me of that crazy guy, family guy, Mickey Rooney. Hey, guys, I'm Mickey Rooney. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. I wish there was a little bit of a different perspective because we know Gabby's role. I'm super confident. I'm the type A student who gets everything right, but I still need the attention and admiration of everybody around me to make sure I have self-worth and value. Get the out of here uh falco i i really care about her boo 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 i'm gonna simp out for her because i don't want her to be the warrior be boo be my brother is good be be boo okay you, you too buddy and you got hanji i got glasses nobody likes me yeah you're pretty true you know that's right so dude, this cast is just oh my god man i'm tired of them by this point aaron needs to <laughs> regrow that leg and start whooping some ass so cold steve austin style wow. so I'll be oh, really uh, curious uh, to hear how your thoughts evolve on this, and if or if they evolve at all as time. All right. Oh, I will. On. I will gladly eat crow. I will gladly eat crow. Um, 
But oh, I you will don't say have one... to eat krill. I'm just curious. Like I'm excited because I've heard opinions all across the board. So I'll be excited to see how your opinions develop over time. Has I just been want one thing. Season, uh, episode one, Sasha. Uh, you know what? Episode one was more about the action than it was just about them. So I was like, okay, cool. But as soon as like the last episode where Reiner was, you know, he's coming home. He's like, what's for breakfast, guys? And like, we got potatoes. And she can tell us her war stories. I was just like, eh. You know, it, it's it, it feels redundant at this point because they kind of feel like carbon copies of our original cast to a degree. Like you have um, you have this whole like try hard attitude where Aaron was try hard. Like I want to kill all the Titans. Right. But the first time you see it, you're like, OK, this is brand new to me. I'm, I'm starting to like these characters, even they have these flaws the second time around. It's kind of like how Taylor mentioned, you become exhausted and she mm. got to the point where she's like, I have room in my heart for these characters, but I'm at that point where I'm like, dude, I kind of had a little bit of room, but I'm just tired of you scrubs. Reiner needs to just take you all out. So um, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm just not vibing with them. Probably it'll change around because my man Willie, as ridiculous as he is, he has that power to change the story. But Dude, just give me some Mikasa, some Levi, and some Aaron. Put that, put it in a syringe and inject it into my veins, man. Just, <laughs> just give me that already. All right. Ah. Uh, uh, so I, I don't hate those characters as much as Sash does. Um, I just, I think, I feel like Attack on Titan does this all, does it like somewhat, like not a lot, but I remember, like season one season two had kind of these moments where it's kind of like getting like the action was getting slow or we're getting to a low point so i'm already i'm used to it so i i'm i'm, I'm used to just what? waiting really? like, I, yeah i think that for me like, moments like this just mostly bother me when i'm scared that they won't follow through on something good but like attack on titan has proven mm-hmm. so many times before that they will ultimately give you that payout so i think it's a lot easier for me even when i was reading through to stay a little bit more patient with it just because I have such strong faith in him, and I've never really had that faith in most manga authors before. So, like, uh, I was definitely season two, like, yeah, with uh, the historical arc, like, I felt the lull, and then season one, mm-hmm. I think it was like the, the the break between like the or the period between the two arcs between like Aaron first turning to a Titan and then like the Annie arc, whatever. I, I think it was around there. So I'm I'm used to like like uh, Titan Titan slowing down before it ramps up. So I I can be patient. Yeah, but with season one, it didn't feel that lull. Like you weren't impatient because it was fresh, and they actually yeah. brought it along at a decent pace. I thought, mm-hmm. like, with if you're gonna do the same shit in season in the final season, yeah, you you just can't. Especially if like you have such a devoted fan base that's apparently very hardcore. Uh, you know, they don't want to go through this kind of thing again. And then like, if you just heard Sasha was like rambling, like it, I'm kind of with him as well. And I'm not as hardcore as he is. Like, I don't want to, like, build, like, emotional bonds with these new characters. I'm not trying to, like, find a new favorite character. I just want the old game back. I want some action. Like, I want to see how the story ends. And if you only got 16 episodes, and this is what you're, like, uh, like you're using out of... So what, there's, like, so this is what the fourth episode, right? So you don't mm-hmm. got twelve episodes left to finish well, this epic story. I, I, I don't think like, it's. No, I don't think it's going to no. be sixteen. It's, it's there's not, no way. It's not sixteen. No, there's no way it's going to be sixteen. There's definitely. It's either well, going to be a part two or there's, they're going to do a movie. Like, are you gonna, are you going to do season. final season part two, final season part three? Like, yeah. is it really the final season but, anymore? Yeah. I mean, what, I, we did. What's everybody's? We did. I think I can do here. I read a thing online about how, like, with how stuff gets released in Japan and how they name things or something, something, something. I'll try to find a link to it. But I read somewhere that because they've titled what they have out right now as the final season, that there can't be a part two. So there, people are heavily leaning towards movies. Mm-hmm. The What's everybody's opinion on if it becomes a movie? I mean... You know, Man, that's gonna take so long. long. Yeah, it's gonna suck. It's gonna yeah. be rewarding as hell with hopefully you know all the budget they'll get for it. But they it's want, the same they thing want that with Demon um, Slayer money. Demon Slayer, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I was just gonna say. Which, by the way, it's like with Demon I, Slayer, right? Now it, it beats Spirit Away. So Ooh, good. I never watched Spirit Away, but I'm glad. <laughs> yes. Yes. I resent that. I, I'm taking that personally. That? <laughs> I'll be honest. Studio Ghibli, I, I've only watched one movie from Studio Ghibli. It was Howl's Moving Castle. Didn't understand a single bit of it. I just never had liked the guy or his movies. So I just said, <laughs> nope, I'm out. Dang, bro. Yes. You're going you're gonna to do Christian Bale like that? 
if you watch the dub. Dude, was my, that's the only reason I watched it. I was like, hey, was, <laughs> was he really in that? Flying I eagle? I, I, yeah, he, oh, he played. That was Christian Bale. I did. Oh, my how, God, now that yeah. you say it. I, I, didn't I, I watched both, <laughs> both subbed and dubbed, but yeah, when <laughs> I learned that that was Christian Bale, I was like, holy shit. Wow. This guy went from House Moving Castle all the way, you know, over to Batman. <laughs> wow, Sasha. Dude, really... that's how you rolled. That's the entire reason Sasha, I watched you're, it. You're I'm really, sorry, man. I just. You really riled up Johan here. <laughs> Why, Johan okay. loves Ghibli? He's, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, bro. he's like, you bitch, Sasha, shut up. Someone please spirit him away now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is what he said. Oh, hey. Wow. Yeah, that's at least he still got my harsh, eye right? on like Sasuke, bro. That's oh, right, bro. Take that. Wow. Uh, that's Damn. messed up, man. That I hope you didn't up. see that one coming. Wink, wink. <laughs> Sasuke did it. Eye, <laughs> Sasuke did it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh. I, I don't know. Never just the art style and the weird delivery service and Pokoro and a giant pillow that looks like it's just a little too <laughs> you know friendly with kids. So I, I was just like, oh, nope, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Your boy's out. <laughs> Right. So maybe one day I'll rewatch them. So so everybody seems to be on the negative part of of movies. Just because they take so long. I mean, for, for Attack on Titan. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, would, I, would, I would enjoy it if it came out. Like I would look forward to it. That'd be okay, fun, so but, like, everybody's again, just, just like worried about just like the length of time then. Yeah. Okay. Probably. <laughs> I'm pretty bummed out about it because like I was totally planning on like not reading the manga like I was gonna leave it off where I'd left off so that I could be excited with everything that's gonna happen and be able to sit on the edge of my seat again so so I'm actually pretty bummed out because there's no way that I have the patience to wait for movies to come out before I read the manga like I will I actually mean, implode I have a backlog of so many things that I need to watch or read or play so I I, I know I have things to occupy me by the time the movie comes out, so I'm good. But then it won't feel as like fresh in your head. Like you're not, you're not there spiritually at that time when well, it comes out. That's just for me. For me, I don't like dedicate to one series, so I. That's that's I, fine. I, I, I jump around a lot, so I can. So for me, maybe that's why I'm not as attached to Tag and Titan like you are. So. So, I tunnel, I tunnel, and I obsess. So like right now, like nothing exists for me in the world except for Attack on Titan. So it's like let's keep go this right. going. So I have another Ooh, question for Sasha, Sasha and David. So if so, once the season finishes up, they don't they don't announce another season, but they announce movies. Or would you guys wait for the movies, or would you just read the manga? I mean, I'll, I'll wait. I, mm. um, that's a good question. Oh, I will wait only because. I'm all ma or sorry, all anime so far. So I'd wait for it. Demon Slayer was a different story, just because I don't know. It just I, it was just fresh. It was new, and I wanted to continue it. With Attack on Titan, it's worth waiting for. I feel like so. Even with my gripes that seem crybabyish, I'd still wait for the anime. Gotcha. It made me and, feel good. And Justin, I have actually one more mm -hmm. question for you. Would yeah. You prefer, uh, I already know Taylor's uh, answer to this. So would you would you pick a movie or uh, uh, like a se another season? If you have a mm -hmm. choice, it's tough. I mean, I I would be fine with a movie because kind of similar to David, like I always have other stuff to kind of like lay back on our backlogs to fill. Um, and if that means, you know, with the movie, we just get insane levels of animations. We get maybe even, you know, like a yeah. bigger collab between Mappa and, you know, if they bring in Wit or whoever <laughs> um, to just make it like the best I thing possible. I'm not about that. <laughs> But there's a well, chance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'd be fine with the movie. I mean, it definitely sucks to, you know, have this long period of waiting. But it's like, from reading the manga, like, that's all we've ever been doing. That's all we know, is you just wait, and you'll be rewarded. <laughs> it's not saying it's a good thing, but it's, it's, it's trying not to get into, like, the Netflix mentality, where I think nowadays, <laughs> you know, with Netflix, it's like, when they drop a hot show, they drop the entire season. So yep. there is no waiting, and you just get to soak it all up in that kind of instant gratification of sorts, which I think it's great you know in some instances but it's also like you know you gotta wait your turn we all waited now it's like you guys you guys can wait you actually, can, you'll survive you'll what, be okay which is what netflix does <laughs> with their anime stuff like they all because in japan they release it weekly but then they drop all at once so and then uh, then Koo, do you have a preference do you have a preference between movie or, or another like season i mean if it's going to be the conclusion right like the end all be all of attack on titans i think a movie would be fine because it would actually do it justice right yeah. Uh, we should, like the final yeah. battle but... yeah put the nail in the coffin so right speak. well we should, we but should. if you're gonna mm. like if, if you're gonna extend it out to like 
two three movies like i pray to god they don't then yeah just just give me just give me the seasonal tv series i'll wait you know i feel like the the build-up is a lot better that way rather than having to wait another one or two years for another movie to come out mm-hmm. like is this gonna be a conclusion is there gonna be a part three it's yeah i, I also don't know do we know if isayama has basically told the whole story to mappa do you think in terms of like if they're trying to you know fit it into this season or like even a second part because i think the manga i don't has no. maybe four chapters left. I think it's not going to finish until either February or they March of next year. One Whoa, to two percent left in the story is what he. I don't know where, but he said that, and because it was like it hmm. was it was like a, this article about like like um about people. Uh, was it like with piracy? Cause he was saying like they're gonna go hard on Tag and Titan yeah, piracy because he has like one to two percent left in the story. I don't know what he said to the to Mappa though. I need to look that up. I do not believe yeah. that he said anything to Mappa. I think that he gave them um, a period of time, f- uh, like t- t- for like possibly to where it ended at. But from everything I've read, he has not told anybody like any of the details of the last chapters. At least not anybody mm-hmm. at Mappa. Yeah. It sounds like uh, the produ- whole production of Tekken Titans. Like I don't think, I don't even know. I don't think it sounds like Isayama had much to do with it. Especially if if they're at, like move from Wit to Mappa. It sounds like it's more in the production committee's like hands mm-hmm. than than Isayama's hands. Yeah. Are that you? So, uh, <laughs> question for everybody. Yeah. Hypothetical question here. Um, let's just say, for whatever reason, you know, we get through these sixteen episodes. It's not the end of the show, and we're granted another. Let's just say it ends with a movie. Like Ku was saying, like, oh yeah, here's one last movie. It's a three hour epic that, you know, just epic. finishes it all off and wraps nicely. Okay, three hour epic to end it. But here's the twist. It comes out sooner than we expect. Like, let's say it's like super duper sooner. We're like, yeah, it's like two months after the show ends. We're like, yeah, we're ready for it. However, it features the CGI bear from Golden Kamui, the very first episode. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys take that deal? Super well, I mean, it depends. Is the bear only on screen for like a hot second and serves absolutely no purpose to the rest of it? Or, or, is the, I mean... or is it like just the face in the me- like in the back of the screen? <laughs> He serves as a major character. He's oh, the God, tenth no. Titan, the Forbidden Titan. No, well, his is name's it, is, it the, <laughs> is it the same bear from Golden Kamui? If it is, I'd be okay with it. They just copy the <laughs> asset over directly. No. Yep, exact same bear. <laughs> like, that, hey, I know that guy. That oh, was... that's so cool. Okay. Yeah. That for, no, for people no. who are watching it, for like for like I got Tiger Titan who are actually complaining about CGI. I would just say like, dude, just watch episode one of Golden Kamui and then just like, just don't talk to him. Okay. No, or Berserk. I, I would hate yeah. that so much. Yeah, like, I, I laughed at that in Golden Kamui. If I have in Tekken Titan, <laughs> I'd be so pissed. I have to be, I would... <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> like... I will say one little thing that bothered me, and I mentioned this in the very first episode, was the outlining of the characters was a little thicker to where it kind of their features stood out more to me when it was with Wit Studio. And when I saw Reiner's reaction, I want I wanted to see like more depth into it i don't know his face looked bland when he saw aaron like his pupils dilated and his eyes jumped like the typical anime but i wanted to see more of what wit captured so in that one like hint split second i actually missed their reactions from the last season um which is weird but that's my little nitpicky thing i think mappa does a really good job with the facial animations actually i know they kind of have like the weird like rotoscoping and like mix of you know hand-drawn cgi that's kind of like a little bit off-putting at times but in terms of their facial animation of, you know, how it is in the manga and stuff, like, it's pretty on point. We've had a lot of shots of, like, close-up on eyes and stuff, and they do a really good job when it comes to, like, that type of stuff, so. Oh, yeah. yeah when they I, did the close-up with Aaron's uh, grandpa, that was a really cool shot. But um, I was just saying, like, for Reiner, I felt like, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's yo, just a personal yo, I need you, feeling. I need you to Google Wit Studios' child version of Reiner. That shit is straight horror if you've never seen that before. It's basically like they took an old like man version of Reiner and pasted it on a child's face. That's been another thing that I've seen like a lot of threads of people just like memeing on. Okay. It's like I how much better they've done. <laughs> oh, by the way, this just came to my thought too. Um, when they showed Aaron's grandpa and he had that flashback to him when he was younger, did anybody think Bert Holt? I was just like, dude, that's Bert Holt. <laughs> <laughs> looks just like his character and i know i think taylor mentioned how at one point in the previous seasons every character looked the same and i'm like this is it <laughs> no uh, i didn't really, no? I didn't no, really right. see that all right whatever forget you guys <laughs> Fred, can you edit that so everyone says yes and nods their heads 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Ku. I appreciate your loyalty. I got you, fam. Oh my gosh. Man, you were right about Reiner as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, uh, no. Last, last kill joy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we got oh. back. Hey. I, I I dragged him back, but hopefully he can hear us. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hello. oh god. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Did disaster scare you, Killjoy? Is that what it was? No. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't blame you. If you'd yeah. like to continue, uh, Justin, go for it. Oh, no, I'm all good. Um, but just take the time to look at it. As Taylor just said, like, it's a pretty shocking difference in terms of how they decided to uh, to draw Child Reiner. So that's the one yeah. thing. As like a, as a manga fan, like with Mappa, like they really just keep it so close to the source material in terms mm -hmm. of character designs and everything. So. Mm -hmm. hmm. It was really interesting for me going from anime only to reading the manga, and then especially with the studio change. Like, I already feel like Aaron looks so different from season three to season four. But like, even like Aaron in the manga compared to the anime, like this whole time, I feel like he looks like a like maybe it's just me. I feel like he looks like a completely different character in the manga, and now. Mappa, it, it, it looks a little bit more like him, and it's kind of nice that you could disguise it as like, oh, he he's a little bit older. You know, I, I like the fact that you could do that if you need to because it's different. Hmm. Him and a couple of other people, like John, I feel like looked looked really different in the manga, and just certain people. Definitely, definitely. See, I don't. But yeah, I have no idea how to like how to analyze animation at all. So no one. No one ever, no one should listen to me when it comes to that. <laughs> so I, like, that's why like, I'm not very picky on animation or even CGI as much. I'm more, I'm more of story mm. focused. That's why I like manga and light novel. I, or I prefer manga and light novel. Even though I, I didn't read Attack Titan manga. It's just that like. Wait, just... David, did you watch Naruto or One Piece? No. Okay, that's the only time in my life where I really actually cared to pay attention to the detail of animation. And that's when I noticed. I'm like, oh my gosh! So studios have budgets, and then sometimes they they go. I don't. Even... They go, you know, a little, well, a little okay. cheap. Because like on Reddit, people people are art snobs on Reddit. So like that made, that forced me to start trying to pay more attention, and then and then Strand had to get onto it too, oh, okay. and maybe more annoyed. So I got you, man. And also, Strand, Strand also knows this about me, but for some reason, like I'm really bad at remembering anime soundtracks. Like, so I did not remember any of the soundtrack from this episode at all so oh oh wow okay i don't know why because i'm i'm really good at remembering game soundtrack but like when it comes to anime like i just i can't remember it unless it's like unless it's like like sawano that's the only composer i remember but like mm -hmm. which is funny because he does attack on titan but like <laughs> this episode it's probably because you're watching and also re like you're probably you're having to read and watch at the same I time i remember i remember like dialogue and voice actors more because i'm trying to listen to, to japanese so i can like so i can try like like remember the words or yeah. So, hey, I'll... speaking of voice actors, uh, just uh, the, the what was it? Ki oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you mean the, the Aaron's grandpa's the voice of Kakashi? There oh, we no, go. Willie. No, 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 Willie. Sorry, Willie. I'm, I'm tripping. Willie is the voice actor. Same voice actor as Kakashi from Naruto. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Nice little, little fact. Little tidbit. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while, so I didn't really recognize I did not it. Know. Yeah, no, I didn't either. I was like, oh, it's familiar. It's on the tip of my right. tongue. And then I like looked up and I was like, oh, shit. Good for that guy. Staying in the game. <laughs> doing doing big things. All right, well, do we have anything else further for this episode? No, I think that was it. Die, Gabby, die. <laughs> I, I, th oh, I thought this was going to be the episode where like, something big happens. I guess this could be next episode, so... We're waiting for that. Oh, but yeah. At least we'll, at least we'll know next week, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Next week. Sure. Same time, same yeah. place. Yeah. Be there. Happy New Year, Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka. I'm uh, best. Dude, never <laughs> trust people named Willy. Well, True. two weeks. Facts. Have fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I guess we'll just end it there then. So that's it for episode four. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us today, Justin. I 
Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, hope you join us again in the future. Yeah, thanks for all your questions too, Shred. Really appreciate it. I have no problem, man. You, this is, I'm here you had, such, you had such good fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed watching this anime with us too. <laughs> I love it. It's, yeah. it's such a great show. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, we'll be back. Great cast. Yeah. We'll be back in two weeks whenever <laughs> the show comes back. <laughs> and, yeah. Give yeah. our thoughts. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. 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 Soggy Oats.